and then open the garage. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Miss Small. I'm gonna get your food. Yeah, I'm small. Well, guys, it is quite colder than what it's been. I've got my little buddy here helping me out on yep. chores this morning. It's about 60 degrees the other day. And right now it says 30, but good thing is it's not windy and the sun's out. We're going to get some chores done. We've got a lot of outside work to do today. So let's get started. All right, meat pig spot doing well. Meat pigs doing well. One thing I did not consider, I only have a, don't tell nobody, two wheel drive truck. If it's wet and cold and this is full of pigs, we might have a hard time moving it. Got the truck when we lived in Florida, in the city, and I was like, what do I need four-wheel drive for? Well, 12 years later, I need four-wheel drive, so uh, we'll keep you updated on that story. All right, Sassy's pigs have been outside a lot more. They're getting close to weaning age. We do that at eight weeks, so they've got about two weeks left. And uh, it's fun to see them outside a lot more. This cold weather is not affecting them at all. They're short, fat, and keeping each other warm. Geez, Sassy, calm down. Food's coming. Well, that didn't work out too well. That's one thing good about pigs. You know they're going to clean it up. Whoops. One for three. Here you go, pig, pig, pigs. This is another big project for the day. It is time to move these guys. We didn't want to move them while it's raining because we'll just mess up the next area. But uh, the boys and girls way back there need a new spot. So while you're feeding, obviously the feed bowls are the high traffic areas. We're gonna take all these feed bowls where they're all covered in mud and gross. We're gonna move them down to where it is not muddy down there, just the other side of Isaiah so that feed time they're not just swamping around next to their bowls. <laughs> At least now they can eat without their hooves in the mud. issue at the girls pen we're gonna move those bowls into this dry spot that is the goal we plan on moving the girls today as well just depends on how much time we have in the day starting to end up we keep getting all this rain and wet we're just ruining a lot of the pasture so we're thinking about just having a sacrifice area for the winter but we definitely want them to be able to get to a place that's dry so let's get these bowls moved and get the girls fed Jeez, a little ornery i can lie the kids don't ask for breakfast like this feeding we're gonna go feed ourselves
All right. Well, going after going back and forth on what to do with these pigs, we're going to talk about what and why we're doing, why and what we're doing, I guess. We were going to take the girls. They're all here. They think something's going. They know something's going on. And we we're going to just move them down one. And there's some woods. But this field fence turns into barbed wire down there. So we're not going to end up doing that. So our plan right now is we're going to take them out. And we're going to, I'm going to clear, we're going to clear some things out in here and start running them back through these trees. This is my mother-in-law's side of the property. And that meadow where we have pigs is up there. So we're going to run them through here while they're ripping up some ground and save some of our pasture. And also we don't want them by the boys. The boys are right over there at that white pig loo. And we don't want the girls to be by the boys because that's just going to cause fights and the boys wanting to get to the girls. Um, so for right now, I think this is our best plan. It's going to take a little bit longer than we thought. So we may only get the girls moved today because this is going to be kind of a, a big move. Um, but we'll get them in here, clean out some of this. We thought about doing this a while back. We didn't do it, but we're going to start back here and we're going to move up through there. So, and this way we can move the boys one spot at a time and come back around here when this is fresh. And then we'll move the girls one or two spots at a time this way. So we're not moving those big long moves that we were moving. Yeah, that was the problem. We were going to take the girls and move them all the way back around our property, around to my mother-in-law's, but we didn't want to move them by the boys. We don't want to move the boys by the girls. It's just kind of chaotic. And we don't want a huge long moves every time. We want to move one spot at a time. So we think this is the best plan for now. And plus, if it's wet and nasty in here, well, actually this seems drier than our pastures, but it's okay if they rip and clean this up back here. And we don't want to do that in the middle of our pastures. So the boys will be on this side on our property. Girls are coming over to the mother, our mother-in-law's, Jamie's mom's, and... Uh, we think that's the best plan for right now. So we got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna get the tractor. We're gonna get a couple saws in here, start clearing some branches and we'll be on the move. All right, Jamie's heading over to get a pole saw from her mom's house. I'm coming to get the tractor. Got about an hour till feed time. So we'd like to get the girls moved. It's gonna be tough to get a move that quick, but we'll see what we can do. We're just trying to clear a little spot so we can drive the tractor back through and start clearing out that mess so we can get the pigs through. Um, this is a battery powered pole saw. And for battery powered, man, this thing is awesome. We'll put a link down in the description if you're interested in something like that. It lasts a while and it's got quite good cutting power on it. So if you're out clearing land, that's a good tool to have. We're gonna put the camera down now so we can actually get some things done before it's time to feed. All right, the girls are wondering why they didn't get fed. We've got everybody else fed. We've got fences. We are trying to hurry because it gets dark by five. So we're gonna set these fences up and move the pigs over. All right, we got the fence up. It's been a long day. We appreciate if you've followed along this far. Uh, from the girls, if you can see them lined up over there, they're wondering what's going on and they are hungry. But it won't be long. I've got the uh, bolt cutters. We're just gonna cut through that fence here where we're gonna bring them in. And then we'll, uh, Try to get them across that direction here. We uh, bush hogged the spot all the way back through here. The fence was broken, so we figure we just cut the fence right here and bring them across right here. So it's broke back there. I'm gonna cut it right through here and then we'll try and bring them, bring them across right there.
that took way longer than it was supposed to like most things but we had to chase that little ginger pig for about 20 minutes and finally we got her and got her in with the others still got to get hay out there it's gonna get down cold tonight so i want them to have hay if you didn't see last video check out these hats in the link awesome for working at night and uh, when you need a light and you need to be hands free um it's not a super high power flashlight but it's perfect for uh walking around so it's down in the links below thank you guys for checking that out let's get some hay and we're gonna take the old tractor back out in the woods in the dark and uh get some hay for those pigs <laughs> all right guys we got hay in there we're gonna use the tractor lights i haven't seen a pig yet so i want to make sure we still have pigs that's one problem about moving them out here okay here we go there we go they're all right here looking for some food and probably i can hear them over here but boy it is dark in these woods so there's jelly bean josephine here they all are they're all exploring their area late night party and there's willow i hear some more down in there so anyway guys long video appreciate you watching um we're gonna come back out tomorrow morning and i want to show you the area we're pretty excited with it and excited that they're gonna start clearing these woods for us so stay tuned we're gonna be back in the morning good morning guys welcome back to the farm if you have made it this far it's got to be one of three reasons you're either a super fan of casey farms which we hope it's rainy outside where you're at and you're bored or you're my mom either way leave a comment below if you made it this far we're just heading up to finish up the pigs in the woods we're heading back to the woods to check out this setup and feed these uh all these females back here in the woods so let's check out how they're doing this morning Okay, so they are doing good. Like I said, you always wonder when you're in a new spot, especially as late as it was last night, dark as it was, you wanna make sure everybody's good. Everybody knows where they're going, but everyone is doing well. We're happy to have them in here. And uh, they don't seem to mind. I, I think the happiest, the most, the reason I'm most happy about having them in here is we got them out of that mud. Just wanted to show you this area. We're using the, uh, field fence in between you can see their old spot over there so that helps us get a lot more room with the electric fence but we bush hogged in here and got some paths and man i can see last night you can see where they're digging up and moving the leaves and finding stuff that they want to eat in here but we ran the fence here from this gate and we just head out into the woods here and uh got them a nice big area lots to do in here <laughs> a lot of uh searching and trying to figure out what they like in here but it runs all the way around oops i see i gotta fix this that's what happens when it gets dark just gotta connect those two fences um but we'll get that done they're gonna be up in here clearing all this out we ran the bush hog right through the middle made a spot where we can put their food bowls and an easy access spot for them to get through everything but just goes around here and then back up top to their pig loose and uh everything is looking good so i would say they're happy we're happy and uh it's a nice spot in here so we'll see how long it lasts uh, normally we like to do a week maybe two um and here we'll just we're just what we're gonna do we're just gonna keep clearing up and going through this woods as much as we can obviously you run into the uh, problem with the solar chargers once we get some sun out here we'll see where the sun's hitting through here and we will put those chargers where they can get the most sun so 
Anyway, guys, we appreciate you sticking with us. This one was kind of long, I think. I haven't edited everything yet, but we appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that button. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. And uh, as always, we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to make that change.